For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Back at Larry H. Miller Field. We're through six innings. BYU 5, Pacific no score. Discount Tire presents On the Rubber. A look at both teams' pitching numbers through six innings. Guerin and Patterson for the Tigers combined to scatter seven hits, give up five runs, all earned, two strikeouts, three bases on balls, 82 pitches thrown by Guerin and Patterson. For BYU... Ryan Brady went a season-long six innings, gave up three hits, no runs, three strikeouts and a walk, 91 pitches, a new season high. That's on the rubber, brought to you by Discount Tire. Discount Tire, let's get you taken care of. And as we go to the top of the seventh, it's a new pitcher for BYU, giving us a PZ Printing pitching change, brought to you by PZ Printing. PZ Printing, nothing inspires like print. Boston Mabius, Southpaw, makes his 10th appearance. And delivers ball one to Brandon Motherall to lead off the seventh. Mabius in nine appearances, six and two-thirds. Innings of work, three hits, seven runs, six of them earned. Five strikeouts to ten walks. His ERA is 8.10. Motherall fouls the second pitch back to the screen. One ball, one strike to the Pacific DH, who's one for two today. A fly out to center in the second and a single. He was stranded in the fourth. play for strike two. Motherall, the batting average and hits leader for the Tigers. Five RBI in the series, including two last night on a double in a game the Tigers lost 9-3. The 1-2, and that's wild and rolls away from Bruder. Two balls, two strikes. Motherall in the series, four for ten. Two runs and five RBI. Just gone final. Softball behind us at Gail Miller Field on senior day. It's a mercy rule 10 0 win for BYU. And so the Cougs have taken care of business on the softball side. 10 0 win in their regular season finale. They finished 13 2 in the West Coast Conference. LMU is currently 12 2 and playing Santa Clara in LA. And it's LMU 4 and Santa Clara 1. If the Lions win that game, they win the auto bid. And a backward K caught looking as Motherall barrel on the shoulder. And the breaking ball from Mabius settles in for strike three and retires the first Tiger of the seventh inning. So Mabius gets a strikeout in his first batter face. Back to the softball situation. They're through six complete in L.A. Santa Clara is down to its final three outs. If LMU gets out of the top of the seventh, the Lions will win the WCC and get the NCAA Tournament auto bid. Lions 4, Santa Clara 1 in Los Angeles, but the softball team here at BYU, a 10-0 Mercy Rule win behind us at Gale Miller Field through 4.5. It's over. All right, foul out of play by Myers for strike one, the 0-1. Grounder to Ozzie Pratt. will backhand that, drop it, pick it up, and then throw wide. It'll be an E4 that will allow Chaz Myers to reach and Ozzy Pratt had been nails defensively at second base for some time. Very rare that he make that kind of error. Just dropped it on the pickup. He handled it well, and it was a tough backhand to handle. He went to his knee, took it around his chest off the hop, but then dropped it on the exchange and then fired wide. And so reaching his Myers on the E4. First fielding error for Ozzie Pratt since April 19th at Utah. That was a lot of clean chances handled over the last four weeks for Pratt. The 1-0. High for ball two. Ozzie Pratt coming in two today at four errors on the year, but on 143 chances. And again, no errors in about four weeks. Three balls, no strikes as Mabius gets the first batter on the backward K. Then the error allows Myers to reach. And now James McClinigan has Mabius in a 3-0 hole. And that's a four-pitch walk. So tough luck inning so far. 
as McClinigan reaches and Myers will go to second. So a solid start for Boston on the strikeout, then a reach on the error, and now a base on balls. And the Tigers have first and second, no one out. Beg your pardon, one out on the strikeout to open the inning. Jacob Weiss will now hit. Breaking ball settles in for strike one from the South Palm Mabius. BYU a 971 fielding team. Pacific only a 959 fielding team this season. Wind blowing out to left here on a Saturday afternoon in Provo. And that's hammered to left, but well foul. It'll get to University Parkway. <laughs> just a couple kids walking down University Parkway. That ball just zipped over their heads onto the roadway. Hello. Yeah, heads up. And yeah, maybe an older couple, actually. Not a couple of kids, but either way, two pedestrians nearly had their uh, afternoon rudely interrupted on a stroll up University Parkway. The 0-2. And that'll be grounded foul down the third base line. No balls, two strikes, one out, and one on. Here in the top of the seventh inning, it's BYU 5 and Pacific no score. BYU leading through six is 24-1 and one this year. And the Cougs are leading through six here today. Such good closers as the Cougs play for a ninth straight win overall. The 0-2 took the barrel off the shoulder, didn't go around, and a take on ball one. Maybe it's missing to make it one and two. One ball, two strikes. The southpaw kicks and fires high and away for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Maybe it's three-pitch mix. Fastball will get to the mid-90s. His curve in the high 70s, change in the low 80s. And that was a 93-mile-per-hour fastball missing high for ball two. Two balls, two strikes, one out, two on. Myers on second, McLennigan on first. And that's a wild pitch. Colin Ruder will chase it down at the backstop as both runners advance 90 feet. Myers to third, McLennigan to second. The inning started well enough with the strikeout, and then the error allowing Myers to reach, and things gone a little sideways since for Mabius. Now it's second and third, one out, and first base is open. Double play is out of play now. BYU with a 5 0 lead. The full count and one out here in the seventh. Mabius breaking ball backward K. Caught looking is Weiss and the second strikeout of the inning for Mabius. And both strikeouts leaving barrels on shoulders. A couple of backwards K's and two gone. Takes the sack fly out of play. First base remains open. Second and third and two out now for the nine hitter. Jersey number nine, Jaron Silva, who reached on an E5 and then flew out in his two at-bats, two plate appearances. Cougs leading 5-0. Two runners in scoring position. Top seven. And Silva taking a fastball outside. A paint job on the away edge at 91 miles an hour for strike one. Boston Mabius, BYU's second pitcher of the day. Spelling Ryan Brady when a season-long six. Breaking ball popped up. Austin Deming looking at toward the dugout and making the catch at the rail. Austin Deming with a nice play at the dugout. And that will be out number three in the top of the seventh. Time for the seventh inning stretch in the top of the seventh. Pacific, no runs on no hits. There was an error, and there were two left on. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It is BYU 5, Pacific no score on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Leading off the bottom of the seventh, it's Brock Watkins with his team leading Pacific by a score of 5-0. Brock Watkins 
having a tremendous weekend series. Might be the WCC Player of the Week next week. Brock goes opposite field, lifts a fly ball to right. That'll be handled by the right fielder, Silver, for out number one. So the fly out to right for Brock. But why might he be the WCC Player of the Week? Seven for uh, 14 in the series. Seven for 14 in this series with four runs, two home runs, and four RBI. Not a bad three-game set. The fly out for Brock. One out here in the bottom of the seventh. And we'll see Hayden Latham pinch hitting for Cole Gamble. So Cole Gamble's day will be done. The left-handed bat of Gamble replaced by the right-handed bat of Hayden Latham. So Latham will dig in. One out, no one on. Here in the bottom of the seventh. And strike one in from Zach Patterson. Zach Patterson into his third inning of work. Patterson went one scoreless inning. Didn't give up a hit on Thursday. The fifth of six pitchers used by Pacific on Thursday night. That's an opposite field grounder to the second baseman, Gavello. Guns it over to Weiss and two gone for BYU here in the bottom of the seventh. On a fly out to right and a ground out to second. So on the 4-3 by Latham, Mitch McIntyre will now bat. Mitch, since coming in, didn't start the game, but came in in the third. Caught looking in the third and walked and was erased on the base paths in the fifth. So 0 for 1 today for McIntyre, hitting 274 on the season. BYU softball took care of business, defeating St. Mary's in a mercy rule game today, 10-0. But for that result to matter, Loyola Marymount has to lose. It's top of the seventh, but the tying run has come to the plate for Santa Clara. They've got the first two aboard with no one out in L.A. The 1-0 here to McIntyre goes to two balls and no strikes. So some drama for the softball team as they scoreboard watch. BYU softball still alive as they need Loyola Marymount to drop one today. And... Things are percolating in L.A. That'll be a 3-4 hole single for Mitch McIntyre through the right side. And Mitch McIntyre is a two-out single to reach and bring Austin Deming to the plate. So Mitch McIntyre guides it through the right side. Has his first hit of the day. And is on first for Austin Deming. Back in Los Angeles, bases loaded, no one out. And the tying run is on first base now for Santa Clara. LMU 4, Santa Clara 1, but the Broncos rallying and no one out in L.A. And again, softball needs Santa Clara to win that game for BYU to win the auto bid to the NCAA tournament. Back here with baseball, 0-1 to Austin Deming. Mitch McIntyre on first. Two gone. Here in the bottom of the seventh. BYU 5, Pacific no score is our score. Cooks looking for their ninth straight win and their second consecutive WCC series sweep. The 0-1. Lifted in the air to left. Nemevan racing in and on a dead run makes the catch for out number three. So for BYU, no runs on a hit and there were no errors. And one was left on. We go top eight. BYU 5, Tigers no score on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Our friends at Discount Tire want you to save up to 30% of your time at the store when you buy and book online at DiscountTire.com. Let's get you taken care of. Discount Tire. Top of the eighth here at Miller Park. BYU working on a shutout. 5-0 over Pacific. BYU five runs, eight hits. Tigers no runs on only three hits. BYU has three fielding errors, but... Nothing too consequential on this day. The Tigers have one fielding error. We've got a new pitcher for BYU. It's the right-hander Peyton Cole, BYU's third hurler on the day. And Peyton delivers strike one. Fastball in at 90 miles per hour. Pitching changes are brought to you by PZ Printing. PZ Printing, nothing inspires like print. The 0-1 from Peyton. Outside for ball one, one and one. The 
The 1-1 from Cole. Sliced foul out of play down the first baseline. Hit the top of the netting as it was on its way over the seating area. One ball, two strikes. Santa Clara has scored on a ground out to make it 4-2. The tying runs at second base. 4-2 LMU leading Santa Clara. Top seven, one out, two on. And BYU softball needs Santa Clara to come back and win that one. As that's grounded to third, Deming handles around the belt. Low to Wilp, makes the low catch at first base. And the Cougs have their first out here in the top of the eighth. The ground out by Ben Nemevand. Beg your pardon, Graves. I was Chase Graves pinch hitting for Nemevant. And Graves grounds out on the 5 3. Jeremy Lee, a grounder to Brock Watkins, backhand, long fire, great play. A 6 3 ground out. Deep in the hole was Watkins, and across the body throws to Wilk for out number two. So a 5 3 ground out and a 6 3 ground out for the first two outs here in the eighth inning. Pacific down to its final four outs in a game they trail 5 0. Cole facing James Arakawa, the shortstop. Arakawa today. One for three with a single in his last at-bat. He was stranded in the sixth. Pacific has left six aboard. BYU has left six on the base paths. 2-0 and oh from Cole to Arakawa. Arakawa. Fouls it back over the roof on the first base side. Two balls and a strike to the Pacific shortstop. Early season injury from which Arakawa has recovered. And a 2-1 count with Cole facing Arakawa. 3-4-12 in the series. Counts even at 2-2. Two Softball defeating St. Mary's 10-0 in a mercy rule game. The now scoreboard watching to hope for a positive result in L.A. We'll update you on that game in a moment. Instead of 2-2, two and two, that was actually a 3-1 count. And the high pitch is a walk of Arakawa. So base on balls to Arakawa. Two-out walk issued by Cole. And Thomas Gavello will now hit the second baseman for the Tigers. 0 for 2 today. With a base on balls. He was stranded after reaching on a walk in the fourth. Ball one from Cole. Santa Clara down to its final out in Los Angeles. It is LMU four. Santa Clara two. Two on, two out. First base open for the Broncos. Top of the seventh. LMU needs one out to lock down the WCC championship and the NCAA tournament auto bid. The Lions and Cougars would finish tied in the standings, but at 13-2 and two each, LMU with two wins and three tries against BYU would take the auto bid on the tie break. So we'll update you on that score as that goes final. Here it's one ball, no strikes to Thomas Cavello with a man on first. And Peyton Cole goes off speed and misses with ball two. Three-pitch mix for Peyton. Fastball change and slider. Fastball low 90s. Change around 80. And the slider in the mid to high 70s. And that's a grounder under the glove of Ozzie Pratt at second going into right center. And reaching third on the base hit is Arakawa. So Arakawa goes first to third on the single by Gavello. And two batters reach with two out here in the top of the eighth. First and third now for Brandon Motherall. Ozzie Pratt diving to his right. Saw that ground ball go under his glove into right center. So Gavello was his first hit of the day and fourth hit of the series. Gavello, four for nine in the series. With five bases on balls. So 
He's been busy on the base paths, has Gavello. Brandon Motherall on a 5-RBI series, a 1-for-3 day, and a 4-for-11 series. Hits with men on the corners and two out. And that'll be a two-hopper to Ozzie. The grounder to second base. Comes it over to Jacob Wilk at first, and the Cougars get out of the eighth with no damage done. The shutout continues for the Tigers. No runs on a hit. There were no errors, and there were two left on. We go bottom eight, BYU 5, Pacific 0 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Bottom of the eighth here at Larry H. Miller Field, BYU 5, Pacific no score. Josh Cowden sees the first pitch. The bottom of the eighth and lifts it to right field. Silva makes the catch there. One gone for the Cougs. It's a flat by Cowden, bringing Jacob Wilk to the plate. Cowden today one for four with a double and a run scored. Cowden. 0 for 3 with a couple of ground outs in his last two at-bats. He'll lift that to short center field. Short stop will go back. Center fielder comes in and makes a sliding catch in front of Arakawa. James McClinigan racing hard from center field as Arakawa was backpedaling and McClinigan ultimately has the final say and makes a sliding grab off a difficult high fly ball. So two gone for BYU in the bottom of the eighth inning. Colin Reuter, who singled in his last at-bat. It's gone final in Los Angeles. LMU has defeated Santa Clara 4-2 to win the WCC auto bid to the NCAA tournament. LMU and BYU finished tied at 13-2 in the West Coast Conference, but the only two losses BYU had were to LMU. And the Lions win the tie break. The 0-1 to Colin Reuter goes to 1-1. One and one. One, one, two out, no one on. Reuter drives that to center field. Center fielder McClennigan back and on the track and makes the catch above his head on the warning track and then bangs into the padding. A long out for Reuter and a 1 2 3 eighth for BYU. Three flyouts to right, to center, and to center. We go to the top of the ninth. Tigers have their last at bats, it would appear, coming up. It's 5 nothing Cougs. Top nine next. After BYU goes no runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on. Bottom eight. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball. Now back to the ballpark and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Welcome back to Miller Park. New pitcher for BYU. It's a PC printing pitching change. Carter Smith will be on to close this one out for BYU. Top nine, BYU five, and Pacific no score. It's a PC printing pitching change brought to you by PC printing. PC printing, nothing inspires like print. Congrats to the BYU softball team, WCC champions, for a 13th year in a row. This will be a shared championship with Loyola Marymount. But 13 consecutive years as WCC champs. LMU with a win today over Santa Clara takes the auto bid in the shared championship with BYU. First pitch from Carter Smith to Chaz Myers is high and away for ball one. Fastball for Carter at 93 for ball one. The 1-0. Two balls and no strikes. Fastball change, slide and slider and curve for Carter. Fastball will top mid 90s. The 2 0. Top of the zone. Strike one. 92 mile per hour fastball from Carter, the right hander. Two and one to Myers. The Tigers down to their final three outs. BYU five. And Pacific no score. Three hop grounder to short. Watkins to Wilk. And the 6 3 ground out makes it one out here at the top of the ninth. James McClinigan made that nice catch in center field moments ago. We'll step in. BYU will, without something significant happening here in the top of the ninth, have its second consecutive WCC series sweep in its ninth straight win overall for the first time in five years. 
One out for McClinigan, the center fielder. Ball one taken by McClinigan. Fastball at 91. This game is uh, two hours and six minutes old right now. Just clipped right along here today. The 1 0 to McClanagan. He'll ground that to Deming. Deming, a sliding stop, pops up and fires. What an out. Austin Deming sliding on the ground to his left, springing up and gunning it over the first for a very impressive 5 3 ground out. So Deming to Wilk. Well done by Dem at the hot corner. Pacific down to its final out. Jacob Weiss will hit with two gone and no one on. And that'll be a ground out of Rock Watkins. He hoovers it up. He hammers it over to Wilk, and that'll be it. Three straight ground outs to end this one. 6-3, 5-3, and 6-3 in the ninth. The Cougars have a 5-0 shutout win and a series sweep of the Pacific Tigers. Not only are the BYU Cougars conference tournament bound, they have back-to-back -back sweeps on consecutive weekends. BYU is also assured of a winning record in conference play as the Cougs go to 14-10 in the WCC, 31-18 overall. In their 49th game, they get their 31st win and do it by a 5-0 score over the Tigers here at Miller Park. BYU's a winner, and postgame coverage starts next on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.